Lamborghini, you just have to love them. While the rest of the world is downsizing and adopting turbochargers, they just keep on building searing V10 and V12 engines. When everyone says they're broadening their appeal to sell more cars, Lamborghini just whips out a bigger wing, a louder exhaust, and a more uncomfortable seat. And when Ferrari and McLaren both refuse to reveal lap times at the Nürburgring for their hypercars, Lamborghini of course do the honourable thing, with the new and simply outrageous Aventador LP750-4 Super Veloce. That's SV to you and I. And we'll simply call the driver who scrapped and slid his way to an astonishing 659 at the ring, Sir. Although he goes by the name of Marco Mapelli. There will be no such heroics today, sadly, but here's a taste of the SV. All 6.5 litres, 12 cylinders and 740 horsepower of it. The stuff you need to know is that it features the previously hateful variable ratio steering known as dynamic steering. Magnetic dampers feature for the first time and downforce is massively improved. In its most aggressive setting, there's up to 218 kilos of the stuff at 174 miles an hour. The SV is 50 kilos lighter than an Aventador 2. Oh, and it has a top speed of over 217 miles an hour, does 0 to 62 in 2.8 seconds, and 0 to 124 in 8.6. Which is about as long as I have to give you a glimpse into life behind the wheel of this fantastically crazy, unreconstructed madman of a car. <laughs> insight into the chaos of a launch we have precisely one lap to do a bit of audio I've done four sets of four laps in this car which has been a pretty good way to spend a Sunday afternoon so we haven't got much time let's get down to it what is this thing like well the first thing to say is it feels very very different to a normal event at all the engine Completely nuts, as you'd expect. It's got more energy, to be honest, unless you drove them back to back, I'm not sure you'd tell the difference, but it is so quick and the noise is fantastic. So the controversial things, well, it's got active steering, dynamic steering, sorry. And I have to say, it's the first one I've driven, admittedly on track only, where it feels pretty natural, pretty good. I think we need to reserve judgment completely until we drive it on the road, but it's good, it's all right. The car does what you expect it to do every time you turn the wheel. Okay, what else? Well, the balance is really different. In fact, the feel of the car is just much more agile, much more adjustable mid-corner. In fact, it feels almost nervous. You've got it in the corner, you don't want to back off because you're worried about the car starting to slide on you and it feels a bit scary. That's actually with ESC on. When you turn it off, you find it's much more trustworthy than you think. There's a little bit of understeer, but as soon as you get on the power, you feel like you're driving on the outside rear wheel. It's really, really good. So I think the car just feels lighter, keener to change direction, but look, you just touch the brakes mid-corner and it starts to slide, so it's much more reactive. Other stuff, well, the gearbox, well, in Corsa mode, it's still brutal, but if you rev it right out, it actually works pretty damn well. That's it, one lap, one lap. So I feel like we've sort of cheated you uh, of a proper video, but overall, the SV is more than an event door with a few bits on it. I think I was worried that it would just feel the same but a tiny bit quicker, but it, it feels like a different car. There's just more agility, it's more nimble. I think it's probably a bit scarier, but that's sort of what you want your Lambo to be. So it's a good thing this, I can't wait to drive it properly. On the track, it's quick, it's exciting as you'd expect, it feels special. We need to drive it on the road, but um, it's a proper job. It's a proper job, this thing, and transformed from the normal car, absolutely transformed. That's it. Okay. If you 
Come on. <laughs> cool thing.